Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Planet Zoo. I know it's been a while since we've been in game here, and I do want to apologize for that. Uh, crazy times in the world. I'm sure each and every one of you have a story to tell about the events of the last couple months, myself included. Uh, COVID is rampaging through our earth and everyone is being affected in a different way. I just want to say, you know, my heart goes out to anyone who's been personally affected by this, whether it be a uh, sick or uh, relative, a relative of theirs who is sick or having passed away from the disease. My heart goes out to you especially, but also to all the people that have been displaced lost their jobs, reduction of income, what, what have you. I myself am unable to work right now. My, my job is closed due to quarantine type isolation issues and whatnot. I work uh, as a teacher, so our school has been closed for the foreseeable future, unfortunately. So I do feel your, everyone's pain and hopefully these videos can, uh, you know, help pick you up a little bit and brighten up your day whether you're quarantined or wherever you may be as far as the game goes on a much 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 brighter note uh today is the release day of the brand new south american pack uh this comes with four new animals and a new uh habitat species so what i wanted to do today is just jump in and uh experience the new animals with you we're not going to be building any habitats today just basically making it as easy as possible uh or basic as possible rather and just taking a look at the new animals seeing what kind of new animations they have and everything like that and as the week goes on i'll be uh designing some cool habitats for you guys to take a look at so without further ado let's go to tropical south america of course We'll just set this to easy. It's sandbox anyways, tropical zoo, whatever. All right, let's see what this looks like. Whoa, Whoa wait a minute, what? Wait a minute, oh, what? What? What is this? What? <laughs> it's like, it's Machu Picchu, look at this. Oh my god, guys, look. Wow, wow, I was not expecting this at all. Oh my god, I was expecting, you know, the, uh, you know, the, your <laughs> just flat little area. Oh my god, look at how amazing this looks. The guests come in through like this temple entrance and it, oh, 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 oh camera, please. It opens out into this expanse on the top of the mountain. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. This looks just like the mountaintop at Machu Picchu. Obviously by design, of course, but... Wow, I am blown away. I was expecting just your standard flat map. I wonder now if, if the other maps have also had topography added. I don't know. I ha I didn't really look at the patch notes all too much. This is actually my first time being back in game in quite some time. Uh, I hit a little bit of a creative drought after uh, my vacation I had uh, about a month back. And then things with work got really nuts. And then, all of course, this COVID stuff happened. And, you know, I, we were trying to get as much work in as possible before it all kicked off. And uh, now I'm completely out of work. It's been a bit of a struggle, but yeah, I am amazed with this. This is absolutely fantastic. Let's see if I remember how to play this game. All right, so let's just start with a basic... Ooh, ooh, ooh new paths. What do these look like? Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Oh, yeah. That is gorgeous. These are like a bamboo. Oops, what have I done? Uh, yeah, there 
go. Okay, so we have a horizontal bamboo. That looks really cool. I like the details. We have a vertical bamboo, and then this one is like a golden tile. Oh, look at this! Oh, wow. Look at that. That is gorgeous. The sheen in the sunlight. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm getting like the old uh, Aztec temple vibes. Yeah. South America, here we go. Let me know if you guys are as excited about this pack as I am. You know, everyone kind of thought it was either going to be South America or uh, the big contender everyone thought was Australia. But I was so happy when they announced it as South America. Uh, I Personally, I, I know this is a common opinion. I think I would have preferred a couple more animals as opposed to more scenery pieces. But, you know... At the end of the day, I hope that Frontier is going to uh, add more animals to these biomes as they go along. I mean, I'm sure that they have plans to do so, but, you know, one can hope. Because, I mean, even Africa, where we have a lot of different animals already, uh, there's still a lot of animals missing from there that you would expect to have, right? Is this new? Yeah, that is. That's interesting. It's like a wire mesh, like a rebar mesh with, filled with stones. That's cool. This is not new, is it? No. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm just flabbergasted. Electric fence? I don't remember if this stuff is new or not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I haven't been in game for a while, so without further ado, though, let's, uh, let's get our first habitat going here. I just want to check these animals out today so we can get an idea as to what we might do for them in our zoo. Let's shorten down a bit. What is the... Yeah, there's the key command. All right, it's all coming back to me, folks. It's all coming back. So let's highlight this. We'll turn this into glass. There we go. And uh, oh, I need, I'll need a staff area to take care of these animals. So let's get an animal trade center. Do, 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 do. Keeper hut. Quarantine, no. Research center, no. Workshop, yes. Staff room, yes. And a surgery, yeah. There we go. Hope you guys uh, like this style of oh, what have I done? Uh, video. I, this is my first time ever doing like a live casting kind of thing, so. Hopefully, it's, I'm not too boring on the commentary for you guys. It's something I've never done before, so just uh, bear with me. I wanted to get this uh, content out to you guys as soon as possible. Okay, let's just get this all connected up. I don't really care what it looks like. Uh, again, we're just doing this to take a look at the animals today. Here we go. All right, so let's see. Let's go to animal trading and see what our first animal should be. Da, da, da. Where are we here? Oh, the Colombian white-faced capuchin monkey. No, we'll come back to that guy. Don't you worry, folks. Don't you worry. Jaguar, again, we'll save that. Let's go with the llama first. Let's get a couple of these guys. And of course, we're going to need staff to accommodate us. Let's get a keeper, caretaker, mechanic, and oops, not a vendor, a vet. There we are. 
and let's get these beautiful llamas into their habitat. And then we'll see what they need as far as needs and all that stuff, just to make them happy for you guys. <coughs> I bet you they can make it out over here, so it's... That's ugly, but... <laughs> whatever. Yeah, let's just make that a little bit higher. Here we go. Our first look at the llamas. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, this one's hurt. Let's call the vet. Look at these guys. Oh, they're beautiful. Uh-oh, are they can they escape? No. No, no, I'm sure not. Look at these guys. Oh my goodness. They're perfect. As a funny story, uh, I grew up in Calgary, Alberta, in Canada. And uh, anyone who's lived in Calgary, you might know this story if you're from the south. In the southeast of Calgary, there was uh, a, a family or a guy or a I don't know if it was a woman or a man, but they had a llama in their backyard of, like, suburbia. And uh, this this person was like a hoarder or something. Their, their yard was just in, in, in absolute shambles. It was a disaster. But, uh, yeah, they, they had this giant llama in the back of their, like, yard of their suburban home. I remember we would always, we discovered it almost by accident one day and uh we would just go and visit this llama and just yeah just be chilling and it looked just like this i mean the colors were different obviously but oh man it's such a cool thing to see in the middle of a city you know all right so uh terrain so they want short grass of course what animal in this game doesn't want Tons and tons of short grass. It's actually comfortable with the long grass, though, which is awesome. Uh, so many animals hate the long grass in this game, so um, these guys are pretty easy to take care of. 650 meters squared. All right, no preference for swimming. All right, as you can imagine, the llamas and alpacas and stuff mainly living in places such as this. <laughs> On these mountain tops of South America, you know, Machu Picchu, Peru, and uh, countries of the like. I can't get over how gorgeous these guys are. Is this the male? Yeah, big chunky boy. Big chunky boy. Look at this unit. He is thick. Love it. So let's see, is there any gender dim dimorphism? So the ears look a little bit different yeah these guys are almost thicker whereas these have a little bit thinner profile especially at the bottom and also the, the you can see that the females are smaller could just be the size of this particular one I have here I don't know 50% size wow these things get huge oh it's sick okay I guess I need a quarantine for that right that's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that uh, in franchise before. Or, uh, sandbox, rather. Just connect that up. That's on the way, alright. So, yeah, other than that, they're pretty easy to take care of. I mean, they don't need a shelter. Uh, this could be because of my sandbox settings. Hold on, let me, let me take a look here. Uh, so let's go into settings, game, animal settings. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. This is all taken care of because of the. Uh, I just started a new map. Okay, so none of those uh, settings have been disabled on this. So yeah, these guys are just really easy to take care of. They're not very needy at all, right? They don't like too much rock or sand, obviously, but uh, 
lots of long grass, lots of short grass. They don't really have a preference. Plants, yeah, they don't really like a lot of plants. Again, they live up at the top of mountains. That's understandable. Let's see what kind of ha uh, enrichment toys they have. Llama. Llama. It says, Habitat Bedding Small Leaves. Oh, cool. Okay, so we got leaf patches as bedding now, too. That's awesome. Small barrel feeder. Everything else looks the same, yeah. Let's get him a food trough. A rubbing pillar. See their animations for that. Water tray. <clears throat> and uh, a ball. Let's get the keeper in here. Get him some food. See if any of them will come and use the rubbing pillar. What are you doing over here? You having a little snooze, huh? A little rest? Let's just uh, speed this up a bit. Can't get over how good these models look, though. I mean, Frontier's models have been fantastic so far, but look, they're... They even chew the cud, right? Roll their mouth around. I wonder if they spit. As you guys might know, uh, llamas in real life, they spit. And uh, you have to be careful if you get too close at them, because they'll, they'll like hawk a loogie at you, you know? They're, they're a bit rude in that sense. All right, let's... Uh, Fast forward this a bit, see if we can get one coming to the rubbing pillar. You need a scratch, don't you? Huh? Here's the keeper with food. No? No food? Okay. While we're waiting for that, we might as well get our second habitat going. Let's keep looking at uh, some of these new animals, shall we? Really care what these look like. There we go. Just trying to remember all the controls again. Oh, 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 oh! Did we miss it? Ah, oh, that's cute. Look at that. Oh. This guy's got some battle wounds. What'd you get into a fight with, buddy? Look, oh my goodness! This thing's like a, a war veteran. My goodness, look at that. Poor thing. No wonder you need to scratch your... Your scars are itching from battle. <laughs> Alright. Oh, what have I done now? Okay, let's, uh... Let's flatten this terrain... Didn't really think about my staff placement all that much. Let's get that flat like so. Habitat gate for our next exhibit. Da -da -da -da. Love the Planet Z music. What? Oh my goodness, pathing, please! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is one area of the game where I think everyone hopes that they're going to put some work in in the next little while is pathing. Uh, the, the path systems in this game are an absolute frustration to put it lightly. Shall we? Oops. Okay. Alright, let's see our second animal. So, animal trading. Let's uh, reset that. And why not? We'll do the capuchins. So, this is one of the world's 
more favorite monkeys, I think, and actually uh, Planet Zoo's first monkey as well. Uh, all of the other uh, things that you might consider a monkey were, have actually been apes in the game up till now. Uh, some people still don't realize that, but uh, yeah, we've had the gorilla, the bonobo apes, chimpanzees and stuff, and which are all, in fact, monkey or uh, apes, rather. Sorry, misspoke. So this is our first actual monkey in game, and I think the capuchin is a fantastic addition to the game. Uh, you see it in movies a lot in the past, like Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, and uh, movies of the like. The <laughs> uh, Actually, it is the monkey in the movie Outbreak as well. Seems uh, fitting for the times, don't you think, folks? <laughs> Please don't give us uh, a plague, Mr. Monkey. Okay, so let's pause this. You are not happy whatsoever. So you need shelter and you need trees. We knew that would be a thing. All right, so no long grass for the capuchins. Okay don't like a lot of long grass they would like some more soil again we're going to be doing proper habitats for these guys uh, in the near future uh, so don't worry about what I'm doing here today I just want to give you guys uh, a brief preview of all the new species so you can see what they're like see their animations a little bit and maybe make up your mind as to whether you will pick up this DLC for yourselves uh, if you are enjoying the content though, uh, please do leave a like on the video. Uh, it does help me get seen a lot. I know that there are a lot of new subscribers to the channel since my absence and I want to say welcome to all you guys and thank you so much for sticking with me even though I haven't uploaded in a little while. I promise that will change in the near future here for you guys. So welcome to everyone that's new. Thank you to everybody else who stuck around. Without further ado, let's uh, keep cracking on here. So, habitat, let's see, for the capuchin monkey. Okay, so we got our climbing frames. Let's just give them a, a standard climbing frame, if we will. Something to get them playing on. There we go. Yeah, we'll give them a couple options here. Put it too close to the fence. All right. Give them some bedding as well. Yes. Can I remember the controls for this? Yep. And then X, X. Yeah. I'm curious if they can climb up this to get to there. Why is it so large? Get out of here. Da, 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 da. Something like that, I wonder. I wonder if they can get up that. We'll have to take a look. Um, one other thing that I'm really wondering is, can they hang off their tails? I mean, come on, right? Like, it's a monkey, I would hope so. Uh, South Central America. Biome, tropical, Brazil nut tree. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at how big these trees are. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As soon as they said South America, I just, I, I hoped and prayed that we would get large trees. Oh, these are cool. Cecropia. Let's, let's not put it too close to the fence or these guys will be making their escape. These trees are wicked. Brazil nut tree? Yeah, let's, let's give the llamas a Brazil nut tree. Cool. What else have we got? A couple of trees, my old favorites. I'll just, uh, Spice this. Uh, we can let this little guy run around, I suppose. What are these? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 
wow, these are beautiful. What are these called? Monkey face orchids. Oh, we have orchids in game now. Oh, look at how beautiful these are. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Fallen mossy. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness, yes. This is something that everyone has asked for in game, and that's like fallen or broken logs and stuff like that. Look at how good this looks. I'll just stick it half out of the ground like that. Oh my goodness. Big, big fan so far. Oh, root spreads, yes. Oh, how I could have used these on that uh, red panda aquarium build I did, hey? It's almost like Frontier was listening to me. Oh my goodness, this is going to help our builds out so much. Oh, you look at how amazing this looks. So you can like layer in some root systems like this. And then get some, uh, so bring the size of that down. Just get some long grass in there. That's nice. Looks like. Is that doing anything? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Hey, little monkey friends. Uh-huh. How you doing, little guy? Look at how good they look. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with these monkeys. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh. Oh, he can use it. Amazing. Oh, wait. Oh. We have an escape. You, you all heard that, right? Oh, oh, okay, there we go. You all heard that, right? How do I check this again? H. There you are, you sneaky devil. No, 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 no. So what this means, I bet you is these walls are climbable so let's uh go here climb proof both let's see now can you guys get out get our heat map which is h by default uh what do you want to do for? habitat let's see ah, okay see so now Anything with the green is climbable, and then the blue is traversable area. So as you can see, they cannot get out now. Oh, what? They can climb all the way up these trees. Oh, we've got to see that. All right, let's give them some food and water. Forage box, that's always fun. Water pipe. What kind of enrichment do we want? Small ball color this, please. Anything else new in here? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, we need this. This needs to happen. Alright. You know what? We need a heck of a lot more monkeys in here. Give us all the monkeys! Give us all the monkeys! Yes! They're in here. Escape, we know. Bring them all. Look at this ball, too. That's awesome. Flower ball. Look, guy. Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. Little girl, my apologies. 
Where's this dude? Where's the others? Oh, down here, doing nothing. Alright. What are you doing, Sylvia? You having a little run in a joke? Oi! The jumping is always a bit derpy, but I still love it. Look at her go! Look at her go! Oh, yeah. Oh, super cool. Great addition to the game. Uh, capuchin monkeys are often trained to do certain things. Like, uh, like I said, they have been in movies in the past, right? Uh, you might know them as like the little organ grinder monkeys in some cases as well. All in all, like they're, they're full of personality. What? Why? Mechanic. Keeper. Okay, you're probably over. So let's give you a few more. There we go. And uh, let's have you come every three months. You every month. No, 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 no. That's what we do. Keeper every month. There we go. Alright, Lamas, how are you guys doing? You alright? Yeah, you're chill. Look at these little monkeys. Can we get them feeding? Let's call it Keeper. So cute, so adorable, I love it. All right, on to the next. Let's uh, start here. Bigger than that. Now, this next species isn't one that I thought they would necessarily include this early in the game's life cycle, but pretty happy they did. Honestly, it's uh, it's a contender for my favorite. Uh, animal of this pack actually um, let's just get this habitat finished and then we'll take a look together there we are animal trading reset and I believe it's under G there we are the giant ant eater so I'm just gonna get a pair of these guys the giant anteater, what a cool animal to have in game. Uh, I saw some of the pictures and the video they added to their Instagram and YouTube channel and it just looks incredible, just super derpy, super like anteatery, <laughs> you know, anteater-esque. It's uh, again, just a perfect model for the Planet Zoo game. Come on, let's hurry this up there, staff. Let's get another caretaker. Yep, yep, yep. Hurry this along, if you would. I think they probably need another trade center. That's probably what's holding stuff up. So we'll get two. And the habitat-wise, let's look for Anteater. Giant anteater. I saw one cool thing here: the natural termite mounds. So, if these guys feed out of here, my life will be complete. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's get both a rubbing pad and a scratching pad, since they can do both. And we'll get a water. Oh, we missed it. Oh. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. 
Oh, you are gorgeous. Look at this derpy little run. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Look at this thing. Come, oh, don't wait, 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 wait. Tell me you can't get out. Uh, you get out. Walter habitat. No. What are you sprinting to the wall for, bro? You just checking out your surroundings, I guess, eh? Look at the tail, too. I was really concerned about the tail, like the the, the furs on the game sometimes is hard to, you know, create naturally, but look at how beautiful this looks. Uh, so incredible. Let's look at the female. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Okay, you guys are not very happy yet, so let's fix that. So they're okay with long grass. Okay. Get some soil around your termite mounds. Oh, no, need more short. There we go. We'll give them just a nice shelter, a basic, basic shelter for them to chill in. Leaves. Oh, that snaps to it too. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's not nearly enough shelter. All right, here we go. Nice. So derpy. I love them. Oh, I just love them. Now, are these? Oh, they are food items. Okay. So let's get a keeper in here stat to work on that. You know what? Let's get a uh, another keeper hut to speed things along here. Let's do that. Get another keeper. Let's set you. We'll give them work zones to hopefully make it a bit easier. So, just add a word. So, here and here. Go. So, Alright, what is this? Another monkey? Or is it a llama? No, it must be a monkey. Oh, look at the llama sleeping. Look at the llama sleeping. Look at it. Oh my god. Look at his teeth. Oh, are these guys mating? What's going on here? Oh my goodness, nothing but activity in the llama habitat. Incredible. How are you guys getting along? You guys are great. Awesome. What you doing? Hi. Oh my god, it's just a cuteness overload, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Moving on, moving on. Keeper, did you bring food? No. Keeper, bring food. Please. Food. Go, go. Let's fast forward this until this keeper actually gets some food ready to go here. I want to see these guys use these termite mounds. That's such a cool thing. I wonder if the aardvarks will also use these termite mounds. It's a question for the ages. Are you bringing food? No, you're not. Oh, oh, you missed a scratch. No! Let's just uh, pay attention to the scratching post until the keeper comes. Did you see that? He did like a little reach around, reach back scratch. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes. 
Oh, yes. Oh, man. The animations. Frontier just keeps amazing me with this game. They, they keep outdoing themselves at every turn. Hey, you. What are you doing? Food. Food. You are on food duty now. Uh, where can I do that? Yeah. Feed habitats. Go. My word. I know they like... Oh, oh. Llama's about to have offspring. Offspring imminent. Speed down. We're gonna have a baby llama. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, I can't. I just can't. Oh, <laughs> look at its face. Oh my god. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. <laughs> Just proud as a peacock. Strutting and stuff. Tanny, Tanny. Oh, my goodness. Welcome. Welcome, little one. Oh, that is amazing. Keeper. Keeper food. Keeper. Keeper food. Bring food for the anteaters, please. Word. I know, like, the game will wait until they get a bit hungry before they... Before they bring food in. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. So cool. But yeah, I hope you guys like this style. Uh, like I said, I've never done uh, a preview type video. Oh, here we go. I've never done a preview video like this before. So I hope you guys like the longer length. I wanted to show you guys these animals, get it out to you right away. I could have split this up into a bunch of videos, but who wants to do that, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Come get your termites, bro. Oh, he climbs it and everything. Oh, look at that. Gets his snoot in there, starts slurping up the ants. Oh, this is too perfect. That is awesome. The animation is so great. There's hardly any clipping, you know, like, look at that. Super impressed with that. Super impressed. All right, for the sake of time in this video, I know I've been gushing about this for a little while. Let's uh, get to the piece de la resistance. Oh my goodness, settle down. The penultimate, if you will, animal of this pack. I guess there's the frog too, but you know, we're just gonna go to this guy first. I don't know what I'm doing with this path. Just, it, just go with it, guys. All right, just, just, just go with it. All right, let's get that going. All right, this is definitely gonna need to be higher and climb proof. I know you guys already know what's going on here. I already know you guys already know what animal is going in here, but still, uh, both. Let's make this glass because we can and now let's go to our animals this of course is none other than the jaguar let's get a big in. okay they're not very big 
All right, never mind. Zoo, animal, jaguar. Yes, please. Who is this? Who is this? Hey, you. What are you doing out here? Get in there. How'd you get out? I'm loving these capuchins, though. Oh, look at it sleeping! Look at it sleeping! Oh, my goodness, my heart. Oh, wow. How, what kind of group sizes? So I don't even have enough in here. Oh, wow, perfect. So they want nice, large groups. That's fantastic. Oh, protesters. Let me guess, not enough monkeys? Yeah, 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 okay. Calm down. Jeez, PETA to the rescue. All right. Here comes one of our jaguars. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. Look at these guys. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. So this is a creature that everyone was like, why is this not in game already? You know, we had like decoration pieces for it, but uh, there wasn't any in game. It was just baffling, you know, but here they are. Now we know why they were saving it for a DLC. You know, take that how you will, but I'm super happy that these guys are in game now. So again, pretty liberal with the terrain stuff. That's fantastic. Let's uh, let's get them a little bit of water. See if they will go swimming. That would be super cool. Okay, you know what? These protesters are doing my head in. So let's just get rid of all this. There we go. Oops. Wrong button. Apply. Okay. Resume. So they confirmed it that there are Black Panthers in game. So, yes, Black Panthers are a thing you will be able to get them for your zoos and how you will get them is via breeding. So just like uh, albinos of other animals, you will be able to get black panthers via breeding. So that is a thing. Uh, as far as the difficulty of getting them, I'm assuming it will be quite difficult, just like uh, it was it is to get albinos as well. So just keep breeding your animals. I'm going to uh, Get a, a breeding farm <laughs> up and running if you will in hopes of getting uh, a jaguar up to What is it melanism? Uh, have its melanism take place uh, so we can get a Ooh, How did I miss this? Beautiful. Yeah, but I will be getting a Black Panther as soon as possible so you guys can see that uh, in game as well. Where is that big ball? Here it is. Let's uh, put that over here like this. Give it a rotate like so. Yeah, I need it to go. There we go. Okay, habitat, not the anteater, the jaguar. Oh, if I can spell. Oh my goodness. There we are. I'm in the logs. Let's just give them a little something. I can't 
believe I still remember these controls for the most part. Oops. It's it for the most part, right? Again, I'm not looking to make this beautiful right now. I will be doing proper habitats for all of these animals uh, in the very near future, so please do stay tuned to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to keep up with all the uh, South American pack as well as any uh, Planet Zoo features in the future. Uh, hit that like button if you haven't already. Uh, let's try and get, you know, I hate asking like some weird pleb, but uh, let's try for 25 likes on this video. Get this content out there so people can see this new pack see if it's worth them buying it or not. Personally, I think it's money very well spent for myself. But, you know, I'm an animal file and uh, this game is always, always impressing. So, let's see if we can get a scratching animation here. They've added a custom scratching animation to the Jaguar. Uh, I'm sure you might have seen it in the uh, preview video if you've watched that already. If you haven't, I'll try and get it on video for you guys here. They're speedy little guys. Oh, oh! Oh dear, we're having our first monkey baby. Yeah. Yeah? You having a baby? Yeah, you having a little monkey baby? Is this it? Is this a little monkey baby? Oh my goodness! Francisco! Oh my goodness, the camera can't even focus on them, they're so tiny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at it! Oh, so cute. All right, let's, uh... Oh, dude, tell me we didn't miss it. I'm sure we didn't. More monkey babies. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Monkeys are having tons of babies. Oh. Oh, that's a little bit of tenderness. You pregnant? You are pregnant. January, April, year four. Yeah, we're waiting for that, folks. Don't you worry. How are we doing on time? All right, we're nearing up on an hour. Hopefully, we'll have this baby born before then. I'll try and speed this up might have to make a cut. I don't want this video to be too long for you guys. Incredible. But yeah, make sure you stay tuned to the channel here. I'll be doing proper habitats for all of these new animals, making them some beautiful homes. We might even start a new uh, South American style zoo uh, in conjunction with our Asian zoo that we haven't finished yet. I've also had a request to do more of like biome zoos, so perhaps we might do like a, a jungle themed uh, biome for these guys. I haven't quite decided as to what we're going to do first, but I will be getting back into the game. Uh... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Anteater's about to have a baby too. This baby's all around. Oh my goodness! Baby derp! Oh, I don't know how to say that. Uh, a bra, a brow, a, a brow. I apologize if I butchered that. Welcome to the clan, little guy. Aren't you just the cutest little thing? Oh, oh no! We missed it. No! Oh, they had twins. Oh my goodness. The big cat cubs are just the most precious things in game. Look at that. Oh, aren't they adorable? 
Chico Mikoto. Chico Mikoto. My God, my Spanish pronunciation, I'm sure, is absolutely atrocious. I apologize to any Spanish-speaking people if I am destroying these names. Oatly? Oatly? Oh my God, I'm not even going to try. Yoto? Yoto? My God. Oh, wow. Sorry about the phone beeping there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this preview of the new South American pack. These are all the four animals. There is the poison tree frog as well. Uh, I'll be showcasing that at a later time. I, want, I don't want this video to drag on too, too long. So let me know what habitat you guys would like to see first. Is he rubbing against a little pad? Your model doesn't work, buddy. That's so cute. Uh, but yeah, all in all, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for sticking with me during these hard times. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there in the world. I hope that all of your families are healthy, all your friends are healthy, and let's collectively hope together that this COVID situation will be uh, finished in a very, very timely manner. Stay safe, everybody. Wash your hands. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.